You are what you think you are. Now, don't get me twisted. Don't take that so literally. You're not an astronaut because you think you're an astronaut. If you think you're fun, outgoing, and confident, you most likely are. But the same will go if you think yourself as a loser, not very confident, or not outgoing. You most likely are that. And that's what I'm speaking about in regards, you are what you think you are. There are two pivotal moments in my life that describes this best that are right next to each other. When I was 14, I was part of this wrestling team. I was actually very good at it. I would train six hours a week. I would do running on the side. I was very fit and healthy. Despite having some of the most embarrassing moments in my life happen during that time, especially this one thing, where I was at this talent show completely unprepared and I got clapped off stage and that's what everyone remembers me by. But besides that, I was still very confident, very happy, and people actually liked me. Despite that talent show thing, people just laughed it off and I laughed it off and everything was good. But that's because I thought myself as strong, confident, funny, and outgoing. Not the things that happened around me, not the things that happened to me, but what I thought myself mattered the most. Then tragedy struck, I moved away to somewhere else. Now in this new place, being athletic wasn't so cool. So I started to think of myself more and more as a loser. And I started to work out less, so I started to feel less healthy, and so on and so forth. I let people dictate my own emotions and what I thought about myself. And that actually changed a lot more than what they said. Is what I thought about myself. If I was not afraid of being the black sheep, being an athletic freak, I would have felt like such a loser. I would have continued to go work out and go do sports and a lot of other fun things. But because I thought of myself different after all of that, I didn't. And that's why also integrity is important. You shouldn't let other people dictate your emotions, your feelings, and opinions. But that in itself can be a whole nother video. But today we're just talking about what you think about yourself, what I think about myself, and how that changes everything. So you have two points in my life that are right next to each other that are very, very different because of how I thought about myself. And now I want you to think about a certain time in your life where you thought yourself as different than you are now. And also compare your life from then to now. That way you can summarize in your own experience how powerful the power of thought is. What you think about yourself is who you are. So be careful what you think about yourself. That's all I have for today's video. If you like this kind of content, I really appreciate the subscription today. I'd like and comment and make this video reach out to more people who need it. And remember to love yourself so you can save yourself.